Take a walk out here, take a deep breath and look around. It's absolutely inspiring and I can't help but be overwhelmed. Hi, I'm Brian Corsetti and the raging question of our time is, how did all of this beauty come to be? Some argue that it happened through natural processes. They theorize that chaos and randomness created all this order that we see around us. But is there another explanation and purpose behind all of this? Does the scientific evidence demonstrate clear design and reveal a master designer? And if it does, what does that mean to us? Come join me on a journey to explore this beautiful world and let's see what clues and answers the animals themselves provide. I'm telling you, it's a journey worth taking. Did you know that animals played a significant role in the future of nations? Back when Rome was being attacked by the Gauls in 390 BC, the Romans were awakened by cackling geese and ended up defeating the invaders. Basically, Rome was saved by geese. Now, in another strange twist of fate, history is about to repeat itself. Summer, 1780. General George Washington and his Continental Army have been waging a war of independence from British rule. He and his ragtag team of soldiers camp just outside of Philadelphia. They know the Redcoats are planning an imminent attack, but they are missing a critical piece of intelligence. They don't know when. Meanwhile, a local girl is gathering walnuts in a grove of trees when she stumbles upon a Continental soldier lying on the path, badly wounded. He's just uncovered the British plans. The Redcoats are preparing to attack with a huge army. And they're on the march now. They'll be on the path any moment. General Washington must be alerted. But the soldier is too wounded to continue on his horse. Handing the intelligence information to the young girl, he urges her to take it to General Washington. The girl grabs a big stick and jumps on the horse. She knows something the British don't. The path is lined with beehives. As she gallops along, she knocks each beehive until the bees become a big black buzzing cloud. By the time the British arrive, they're ambushed. Not by the Yankees, by the bees. The American troops were saved. It's reported that Washington told the girl, neither you nor your bees shall be forgotten when our country is at peace again. It was the cackling geese that saved Rome but it is the bees that have saved America. <laughs> 